AITA for divorcing my wife after she asked for an open relationship and now I'm thriving while she isn't. Hey Reddit, I'm in a bit of a situation and I'm starting to wonder if I'm the bad guy here. I'll try to keep this short, but there's some context that might be important. So, my 34 male wife, 32 female, and I have been married for seven years. We've had a pretty great life together. I've built a successful business. I do pretty well for myself. I'll leave it at that. And we've traveled all over the world, live in a beautiful house, the whole deal. I've always thought we were happy. Out of nowhere a few months ago, my wife tells me she wants to open up our marriage. Her reasoning was that we were missing out on experiences and she wanted to explore her options, but she made it clear she still loved me and didn't want to break up. I was blindsided. We've never had issues with intimacy or connection and honestly, I'm in great shape. I've always been attentive to her needs and I just didn't see it coming. At first, I was against the idea. But then I figured, okay, why not see what happens? If this is what she wants, I'm not going to stop her. I agreed to give it a try, but with the condition that it goes both ways, if she's out meeting other guys, I'm going to meet other women too. Well, here's where things get a little ironic. As soon as we opened the relationship, I started meeting women left and right. I'm talking crazy success on dating apps, people I meet through work, even casual flings while I'm traveling for business. Turns out, being wealthy, fit, and confident tends to attract a lot of attention. I'll spare you the details, but let's just say I haven't exactly been lonely. My wife, on the other hand? Yeah, not so much. She's been on a few dates, but nothing's really panned out for her. A couple of the guys ghosted her, and she's mostly frustrated that it's not what she imagined. Meanwhile, I'm having a blast. After a few months of this, I started to realize that I don't need to stay in a marriage where my wife was basically looking for an excuse to cheat on me. If she wanted to be single, then let's make it official. I filed for divorce and now she's upset and saying that I'm punishing her for wanting to explore herself. But honestly, I just don't see the point in staying married if we're both dating other people. Why Playhouse? So now she's telling our friends that I'm being selfish and that I'm only divorcing her because she's not having as much success as I am in this open thing, which is absolutely not the case. I just think we're on different paths now and I've realized I don't need to stick around when I can literally have my cake and eat it too. ITA for filing for divorce? Or should I have tried harder to make her feel better about a situation she basically created? edit. To clarify, I didn't start having fun out of spite. I genuinely went into this thinking. It could work, but it just opened my eyes to the fact that we want different things. Also, the divorce isn't about her failing at the open relationship. It's about me realizing I don't want this life with her anymore. Let's see comments. She wanted new experiences. I think this counts. NTA true. Divorce will be completely new for her. Now she's going to have tons of new experiences, such as likely having to downgrade lifestyle, as based on OP's post, he is wealthy, so I'd assume he was the breadwinner, and having to try and date again in her 30s in one of the worst dating markets, like ever. Likely having to watch OP start dating a nice girl six, 10 years her junior, because that's almost always how these stories end up Kat's OP is just very giving to his ex. He just wants her to experience a new range of experiences. Splitting up is one of the risks when people in a marriage decide they want to explore their options. Either one of you could have come to the conclusion that it was time to go your separate ways. However, she instigated this not you, so you are NTA. Never the asshole if you want to leave after the other party asks to open up the marriage, whether that be from the beginning to later on. They wanted to act single, so they get to be single and enjoy it. Your NTA for filing for divorce. While the situation started with your wife's desire for an open relationship, your feelings and needs are equally valid. It sounds like the open relationship revealed 
fundamental differences in what you both want from your marriage and life. Ooh, look here, another person who wants to open their relationship has it bite them in the ass. Maybe they should understand 99% of open relationships fail. Let's see another story. My wife of 12 years asked for an open marriage, so I asked for a divorce. One man has asked the internet if he jumped the gun on telling his wife they were getting a divorce after she asked him to consider an open marriage. The man took to Reddit's marriage forum and explained he has been married to his wife for 12 years and the relationship has always been great without any particular ups or downs until this conversation. He wrote, My wife has always been a kind, sweet woman, and up until this I thought the world of her. And then she went and broached the talk about open marriage. An open marriage is a non-monogamous marriage in which people date other people while being married. According to the man, his wife said she wanted to open up their marriage because all her friends did it, and it's 2,024 inches while the man did not say anything and just listened. The man wrote, I just listened and offered my counters. I asked if her friends were influencing her into this, and she said no. I asked if she already had someone in mind, and she said no. I asked her to give me some time to think about, and she agreed, stating we don't have to do it if I'm not up for it. I shouldn't have. But in the days after, I checked her phone and laptop, and nothing suspicious that suggests she was cheating already. However, after a week of thinking about it, the man told his wife she can date anyone she wants because he now wanted a divorce. He wrote, Cue the sobbing, the begging, and all, if I knew I wouldn't have even asked. She refuses to move out, and so do I, so I sleep in the guest room. She's taken sick from work, and every time I am home, she keeps begging me to talk and go back to the bedroom with her. I believe her friends actually tried to influence her, and she didn't do anything at all, but this unraveled my perception of her. In the comment section, many popular comments from users told the man they believed he was doing the right thing and leaving his wife. One user said, you almost never see a relationship start monogamous, open up, and succeed, and there's a reason for that. If my wife suggested opening my marriage, that's where I would go too. Another commentator wrote, Let's have an open marriage. Its current year, after all, is the most insane take imaginable. At the very, very least, she's shown herself to have incredibly poor judgment and be very easily influenced. Someone else asked the man if he still trusted his wife and if he would consider talking to his wife before separating, to which the man responded, What more there's talk to? Trust is gone on both sides. We are done. However, the man has recently posted an update post on the forum and said he was moving on with the divorce as his wife had admitted to having an affair. He wrote, I wasn't jumping the gun. She was cheating emotionally and planning to do so physically. I checked her phone and computer and found nothing, but she came forward with a second phone I had no idea she even had. She thought I already knew. That's why she came out with it. Just as I was starting to regret my decision, her friend sweet-talked her into it. Apparently, those open marriages are just their affairs. In his final comment, the man explained that his wife was begging for a second chance, and he had foolishly told her there was a chance, but he still believed going forward with the divorce was the right thing to do. He wrote, I don't want to leave her, but I have to for the sake of my dignity, pride, and self-respect. That I love her has become irrelevant. Let's see another story. Open marriage gone wrong. My wife and I have been together about 12 years, married for eight. We have had an open marriage from the beginning, and it worked well for a while. However, at some point it began to become toxic primarily because of some unresolved sex and corn addiction issues on my end that became a coping mechanism for the tremendous amount of stress we have had. Medical school for her and a demanding career for me, a toxic work environment, and two kids. In addition to diving into corn and sexual fantasy, I let my personal health slip and struggled with impulsive spending and hoarding. These issues were always present 
but magnified as our life stresses increased. The sex addiction began to impact our social relationships, and I remained oblivious to all of this. Finally, at some point, my wife had little sexual interest in me. We talked about therapy frequently, but we both put it off due to time and money and my inability to see just how bad it was needed and her inability to convey that I was in need of help. A year and a half ago, she started dating a guy and I could tell it was getting very emotional, which was crossing our open marriage boundaries. I conveyed that I was uncomfortable with the relationship and she lashed out that it was the only thing that made her happy. She asked if I wanted her to end it. Clearly to me, I did. But I told her I did not want to be responsible for taking away something that made her happy. And I had made my feelings clear. A few weeks ago, she told me she is considering divorce. She initially said it was because of the financial and health issues coupled with no longer being happy without feeling guilty about her boyfriend. She then opened up about the role her BF had played in supporting her during our difficult marriage. She also told me that after speaking with her new therapist that she believes I have sexually assaulted her through coercion and manipulation. She has a lot of guilt in general and in this case a false sense of needing to be a good Catholic wife and what she thought was her obligation on several occasions. She now says that the pain from that is too great and she is not sure she can forgive me. I asked her to break up with her BF while we figure things out. He picked her up and they went to talk and she said she broke up with him. I later found out she was still texting him at work and they were talking on the phone on her way home. I also found out the night they broke up that they had made some sort of plan that keeps coming up. I confronted her and she called him on speaker to break up. This time it seemed to be at least real for as long as we are sorting things out, but they have exchanged some texts once since then, one week ago. We are starting discernment therapy, and I want to keep the marriage together. I think with individual and couples therapy, we can heal and move forward. I feel this is best for us, but more importantly for our two young children. But I worry that over the last year, her BF has used our struggles and stresses to play the hero and manipulate the situation in his favor. Now she seems to think these new love feelings for him would be lasting, and she does not seem able to look at his flaws and consider how they could be a problem in five plus years. She also does not seem to consider that she has put him on a pedestal, but only spent a few hours with him a week with the occasional weekend when I take the kids to our parents without her. I was unaware that's what she was doing, and they tried to hide it. She then compares me to him, but I am the one navigating her anxiety and depression constantly, and living the stresses of our careers, and caring for our children constantly. I have grown bitter about her relationship, and that probably shows. She has become very focused on herself, not all bad, but specifically working with her therapist on being happy without feeling guilty. She has always been selfless and family focused, but that has shifted during the relationship with her recent BF. We are starting discernment therapy, but I have no idea if she truly wants to figure it out or if she has already made up her mind and is just doing this to appease our Catholic families who do not know about any of the open marriage or her recent relationship. I am very lost in looking for any helpful advice or resources, already starting individual therapy for myself. Let's see comments. My mind is blow that you were able to have an open marriage while having two high stakes careers and kids in the mix. When did you have time for each other? Was your wife just not enough for you? Can you see how she would fall in love with someone for whom she was enough? You mentioned sex addiction issues. Are you in therapy for that? 